To level the surface, I'm going to take this number three gouge, which is the flattest gouge uh, that the Sheffield list provides. It's a number two cut if it's file. And I'm going to work across the grain with a slicing cut like this. And I'm going to get one area nice and smooth. It'll be lightly faceted, but it'll be clean because it's a sharp tool and I'm removing the removing these ridges. And then once I've got an area going, I'm going to sort of spread this out. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I, I remove all these little grooves all over. So this doesn't have to be flat as if it's been planed or anything, but it needs to look flat and it needs to look as if it's going across. The edge here, I will start by putting a corner on and I'll just swing it around like that. Like so, let's swing around. I'll merge it into this area that I've already done. And I'm coming right down to the line now, to the line that I did with the marking gauge. Now you could go with the grain like this, but like in this case, you can't really tell whether you're going down uh, against the grain or uh, with the grain. So this is along the grain here as opposed to across it. So you don't really know whether you, the, the, the grain, the fibers are going to bury into the wood or you're going to be lifting up. So it is really a much safer way of approaching to go across the grain like this. But if you can work with the grain, then of course you can do that. Anyway, so I'm just going to work my way quietly along and push up to the dog, up to the head here and making sure that I check everything as I go along so that I don't really have to go back. So if I dig a corner in like this by accident, I'm not really turning it, but I'm just drifting it across, then I need to go back straight away, clean that up and merge it with all the rest of the carving. One thing I could have mentioned, and perhaps should have mentioned, and will mention, is that before I started carving, I did make sure that my tool was really sharp and stropped. And as I go along, I will strop it. So that's something to remember. Have your strop on the bench and a few strokes like this on one side. And then with the slip strop this way. So you clean off the any grease from it and we're ready to go. So do make sure as you go along that your tool maintains its sharp edge, especially at this time because this is a finished surface. So if your tool feel that the tool is a little bit dull or just got nothing better to do, just a little bit of stropping. And that keeps the tool keen and sharp as you go along. A good way to check this level is to take something like your set square and set the distance down to the background and just see how you're doing. And that should be pretty equal. A little bit out doesn't matter as long as it doesn't look out. So all my background here up to this line of, um, of shavings and uh, mess here, that's all now a finished surface. So what I have to do now is pair back and set in this line exactly to the dog's head. <laughs> 